Aujourd'hui, nous Today, nous souvenons. Today, we remember. We remember those who answered when their country called. Those who fought and those who died for something greater than themselves. From this very spot a little over a decade ago, our departed friend and colleague, Rabbi Reuven Bulka, reminded us that when we look at our veterans, we are looking at the very best of Canada. They are our true heroes. They were ready to make the selfless, supreme sacrifice of their very lives, to stand up to terror, to tyranny, to unjust violations of human beings and their basic human rights. They stood up to unjust aggression and fought for the innocent. C'est une noble vocation, et nous sommes reconnaissants qu'ils ayant répondu. Beaucoup de ces hommes et femmes courageux continuant de porter les blessures de leur service. Blessures physiques, traumatismes et blessures morales. Ils méritent notre honneur et notre soutien total et son équivoque. At this cenotaph, and before this tomb of an unknown fallen Canadian soldier, we remember that unthinkable numbers of our fellow Canadians did pay the ultimate price of their very lives. They sacrificed their hopes and dreams, their loved ones, their whole futures. They sacrificed everything Ils ont tout sacrifié. We honor them best not simply by remembering their names or even by recalling their sacrifices, but by remembering what they died for. That their families and loved ones and grateful people throughout the world could live on in freedom in a land where human dignity would be recognized and human rights protected, where people of different backgrounds and histories would live and prosper together in mutual respect and social friendship, that you and I could live lives in peace and security, where governments would be moral, accountable, and responsible, and everyone would be equal before the law where each person would enjoy religious liberty to live both privately and publicly according to their conscience and their deepest belief convictions about the very meaning and purpose of life. To live in a land that is glorious and free. In the haunting poem in Flanders Fields written by the war surgeon and poet John McRae, the war dead bequeath these things to us, the living, as a torch to be held high. Here at this place, before this hallowed tomb, we honor the fallen, and we renew our sacred trust to them. We will not forget. We will remember. And we will not break faith. We accept this torch from their failing hands and will continue to guard and cherish the values and ideals that they laid down their lives for. And for those of us of the household of faith, we entrust them to the loving kindness and the tender hearted mercy of God. May they rest in eternal peace. Amen. God, keep our land glorious and free.